We, the Sisters of St. Paul's Monastery, are a community who live the rule of St. Benedict based on gospel values. Through our liturgical life and wise stewardship, we create sacred space from which we respond to the needs and challenges in the church and society today. Discernment is done not only by yourself and God. Discernment is done by a spiritual director or a person that you have a deep relationship with. Because I was called by God, He showed me how to love. And because of this love that I have, uh, that God has given me, I can witness that to all the people that I associate with. As I have journeyed on my way, um, the opportunities that have been uh, available to me and to the other sisters as well has just been a gift. I have done things that I would have never, ever imagined myself doing. I found my way to this place the way many people do through relationships. I knew one of the sisters, and this community was very welcoming gave me a lot of opportunities to do what I can do very well, but at the same time to learn a lot about uh, what this particular way of looking at Christian life involves, what it means, and how it can be translated for anyone who is seeking to live a more authentic religious life. Oblates are Christian men and women who are seeking a formal relationship with St. Paul's Monastery they uh, are willing to make a promise to live the gospel and the spirit of St. Benedict in a deeper way in their workplace, their family, in their civic and social activities. That uh, this is the whole purpose of becoming an oblate is you don't enter community. You become a member of the Benedictine family, but you live out your commitment in your ordinary life, in your daily life. We offer formation, we invite people into formation who are vowed religious, who are associates, and these are women who want a deeper relationship with the Benedictine community, and they want to get more involved in our ministries. Any of the ministries that we have here at St. Paul's Monastery are a mutual blessing. It's not just that of, of being of service to others. We also gain something from those that we serve. So when we decided what to do with the space of our previous laundry building, we discerned the needs of that time to be quality childcare in this area. The quality of the staff that we have there, they really live out the values that we have as Benedictines. And so that, in a way, is an expression of our Benedictine values, that care and attention that we want to provide to each person that we encounter. Today's ministries are different. I believe our Benedictine Center is probably the most well-known in the area for giving retreats, hosting groups for meetings here. I think it's very obvious to see the value that St. Paul's Monastery and our uh, ministries have had on the surrounding community. This campus is almost like a Benedictine village. We founded uh, Hill Murray High School. Then we take the Benedictine Center, which is very much adult education and adult spiritual formation. In the early days, we were very committed to uh, women, and specifically to women and children, and we see that very much lived out now in at Tubbin. The beds or the rooms and the facility is filled with women and children that have been caught in abuse. And then the other uh, ministry that we have on this campus is to affordable housing. We've had the impact of bringing that kind of excellent service right into this community. The Benedictine Center offers such contemporary spiritual renewal experiences to an ecumenical group of people searching for a deeper relationship with God. 
The gift is that we, as a Benedictine community, is the only community that has a retreat center amidst our living community. And that has uh, been a, a value for anyone who comes in for retreats on a one-to-one -one or meeting with a spiritual director. Externally, those people walk out of here and they have they have such a new image of the sisters, or new image of what what it's like to be with us, and uh, how much they appreciate being here. I think by our uh, programs that we have here, people do come and they're enriched and deepen in their life. There's many opportunities for people just to come into a room in the center and close the door and just have peace and quiet, to be still and know that I am your God. That's an invitation, and people find that that is what they need. The center of our Benedictine community is our liturgical prayer life. That's the center. You get involved in the ministry of community, but what ties us all together is our praying together, our eating together, our crying together, and, and rubbing our rough edges together. And uh, that's the type of women that doesn't find their place probably out where they're living, but they find it here in a community. Now women are coming in, they're professional women, they have their training, they have their experience, and so they're hungry at their age or wherever they are in their professional development for something deeper in life. Living out what you believe is what we do here. You want a life with God. You want to proclaim God to other people, share Him with other people. And we try to live it so that people around you see it. And <laughs> you feel it, I think. So it kind of, you have kind of a contemplative outlook on things. Religious life is a very special calling. It is a deep yearning for the sacred and a call to really journey with others so you're not doing it alone. 